Good morning, Master. Good morning. Today we will speak about peace. Peace is being forgotten. Peace is not being held. I have already mentioned to you that peace is a creation. The earth is going through an energetic rejuvenation process and people are losing themselves in fear. As I have already suggested to you, call us, consult us each moment, ask us to hold your hands, to cover your ears, to catch your tongues, ask us to be a filter for your eyes, Ask us to be a protection for your hearts and for your feelings. Evoke us. Call upon us. Ask us for help from the smallest to the biggest matters. We shall be together in union allow us to connect to you and to elevate your cellular frequencies as well as your emotional egregores to the next dimension which is within you let aside the fear the evil the limitations you who listen to us I ask now that you focus on yourselves and on your inner peace, on your expanded love, on your trust and faith on God and on us. We send much love, we send you much peace. We send you many elevated frequencies. Nevertheless, you look towards the side which brings you less benefit. Until when? Until when will you focus on your problems which you have created yourselves? Until when will you live repeatedly the problems and obstacles which you created. Until when will you remain in your labyrinths? Ask us help in case you cannot exit, in case you cannot see light at the tunnel. Ask us, ask us, ask us ask us and remain in peace simply plainly in peace don't ask us and then go back to being afraid ask us and quiet yourselves train quieting your minds and hearts Stop emanating fear. Stop emanating feelings, expressing you have no solution. Feelings expressing there is no way out. Feelings expressing you have no other choice. Because that is a lie. It's wrong. You are harming your fellow. Once again, you are harming your fellow and the energetic egregor of your planet. Set aside a period in your day and emanate love. Experience love. Create your egregor of prosperity and love. Don't go even one day without feeling all the love sent to you. 
Do not do that to yourselves. Look at the sky. Feel the light. Quiet your hearts and nurture yourselves with the love of God. Be aware of your roles in this new phase which earth now enters. Once again, I ask you to take on your commitments. Be aware that we are together, even if you don't see it, even if you don't feel it, even if you don't believe it. When you call upon us with your heart, we will be. And if you allow, we will be one. We will form a single presence. We will guide and progress together. Always do what is within your hearts and not minds because the level of negative influence has increased significantly. Therefore, seek to enhance your contact, your understanding of your intuition coming from within your heart, from within your heart chakra. Ask us to clarify your paths Ask us to help you walk towards the light. Be open and we will help you. It is necessary to make the transformation. Come to the light. On the contrary, you won't be left with much lifetime. Make your choices wisely. The transition process is being accelerated because we have urgencies so that the deaths which were not supposed to happen stop happening because as we have said you focus on fear and with that open communication with darkness with spirits of low energy so, a sequence of wrong attitudes is taken and consequently harm yourselves. The more you remain in fear, the more darkness can communicate with you and death gets closer and closer. So, stop this cycle. You are not aware of the urgency that you have to end this cycle. You can't imagine how things are happening here in the spiritual side. Don't be distressed. Only change and choose light infinite and multiple times during your day. It is said. We thank the opportunity to be able to communicate. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Channel. We are grateful. Thank you.